Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we began our journey and we added Boomy the Trico to our team. In today's episode, we were told to make our way to Route 103, where we will be bumping into May, who apparently wants to battle us, so she's trying to do something crazy. I don't know. I don't even know what May's doing. She she ran off. Apparently, she was supposed to help her dad, but I don't know what she's been doing lately. And now we got our battle on our way. Look, a little worm pull. Huh, should I take it down? I almost feel like I should. It's only level 3, right? It's only level 3. I'm gonna go ahead and run, because I know we're actually gonna have a trainer battle right now. We're probably gonna end up battling May, so I kinda would just wanna head on my way and see if I can make it there without too much trouble. Route 103 is actually, like, right up here, and hey, what's up, shop man? What you doing? Hi there, I work at the Pokemon. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right, okay? Being super kind hearted as I am, I'm gonna give you useful advice. Okay, so I'm guessing this guy's just gonna tell us. He's just trying to advertise a little. Look at a man going out of his way trying to make a couple poke dollars. All right, man, I, I see what you're doing. Oh, he gave us potions. That's, that's very nice of you. What a fine man you are. Thank you. I appreciate your potions. I guess this is going to be the sort of Pokemon tour. So he's showing us the Pokemon Center right now. We pretty much know the basics to this, so I'm not gonna really, you know, dwell too much into it. I kind of just want to start exploring some of these areas. All right, if I remember correctly, Route 103 is actually right up here. It's kind of weird, you know, playing through this game now that it's 3D, because I remember it, you know, so well, uh, like when I last played Emerald, that seeing it now like this, it's almost a little mind-blowing, you know? It's, it's almost like tricky. It's like, I know the layout is the same, but it's trippy to see it this way. Let's see, on Route 103, I found this Pokemon, and this one, and this one too. Oh, hey, Rodri! What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well then, why don't we go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is really like. Okay, guys, here we go, Rodri versus May! This is our first rival battle. She's pumping her bow. She's getting ready. Oh, man. As you guys know, okay, we're getting countered here. You know what I'm saying? We're getting counter base, counter attack, counter whatever it is. Yeah, she picks the Pokemon that goes against us. I think you guys already know the rock, paper, scissors triangle. But we're going to try our best nonetheless. You never know. Maybe the Torchic will go for a couple leers. Oh, we hit a crit on it. That's always very nice. Oh, you know what? That gave us the advantage. All right, I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep going with the pound. Pound it out, Boomy. Pound it out. There we go, Boomy. Boomy's a little crazy. You know what's funny? In the anime, Ash... Was that a crit right there? That did a ton of damage. Oh, man. All right, I'm probably going to use a potion then. Um, unless this thing goes for something else. Okay, I'm going to use a potion. I don't want us to lose our first battle. You know, just because I'd be I'd be a little mad if we lost our... We had 11 potions starting? Holy crap, how did we start with 11 potions? Okay, I haven't even transferred everything from the demo yet. That is something I'm definitely meaning to do. So I don't know how the heck. Maybe it did transfer already. Did it? Did it magically transfer? I don't know. With that, we're going to go for the pound. She's not going to use a potion. And we have defeated little Torchic. All right, May. You like that? See, that's what a real Pokemon trainer does, May. We gained a bunch of XP. And with that, we have won our first battle here in Omega Ruby. Man, this is just bringing back memories. This is awesome just getting to, to see all this. We defeated Pokemon trainer, May. Well, that's great. Roger, you're pretty good. And we got 200 for winning. That was a good start for us, guys. That was a very good start. Let's see what else is going to happen. It was a good battle, thanks. Let me heal up both our parties real quick. Oh, you're such a sweetie. You know, you didn't even have to do that. All right, guys. Well, I think I know why my dad has his eye on you now. I mean, he's got that Pokemon. You've already got that strong bond. I bet you could probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Phew, I guess I'd better head back to the lab. All right, see you later, girly. Okay, well, now that we're done here, I actually wanted to buy some Pokeballs. And I think now that we actually defeated her, we probably can. Let me go ahead and enter the shop and see if they have any Pokeballs for sale. It'd be nice. I'd really like to buy a couple Pokeballs because there are a couple Pokemon that I want to freaking catch, but I guess we can't. All right, well, oh, well, let's head into the next town and see if we can get ourselves into any more trouble or if it even lets us go into the next town. Oh, wait, this guy. Well, please don't wander around. Okay, guys, it looks like we're actually going to have to make our way back home. I'm guessing we're going to obtain some special item or something. Let's see what May has to say. Rodri, over here. Let's hurry back to Little Root. All right, I'll race you there. I'll race you there. I bet you... She's she's so fast. Does this girl run marathons? I mean, how, how did she run that fast? I'm sitting here having, like, an asthma attack or something, and she's already made it. Let's go check out what Birch is up to. Yo, Birch. What up, Birch? What you doing, Birch? Birch is, Birch is my dog, guys. Me and Birch go way back, like, like like an episode back. So I hear you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. May's been helping with my research for a long time, so she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Hmm, I think that settles it. Roger, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. With that, guys, we obtained the Pokedex, and that's gonna set us out on our journey. 
That Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl May takes her with everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches rare Pokemon, we all know the basics to the Pokedex. It pretty much just records everything. If you haven't played it before, that's pretty much all it does. It records all the data from the Pokemon. Every Pokemon you catch gets on there. Every Pokemon you see gets like half on there. Oh wow, Rodri, now you got a Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. Then here, I'll give you something too. There we go, that's what I've been waiting for. We obtained the Pokeballs. And now I'm pretty sure we'll be able to buy them from the shop. I'm pretty excited. There are some Pokemon that I really want to add to our team already. So I'm just ready to get our way out of here. And uh, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you peeps later. I might have to go say bye to Mama though. You know, Mama gets a little upset around here if I just leave. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave. I think I'm just going to leave. Oh, no. M Mom. Is that Mom? Ah, uh, yes. Is it the waffles? You got the waffles? What's going on? Rotary, Rotary, did you introduce it for Professor Bunch? Oh, what adorable Pokemon. You got it from the professor. How nice. You're your father's child, all right? You look good together. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But I'll push yourself too hard. If I had you, just give it all away. Thanks, Mom. You're such a... You're making me cry a little over here with your emotions. Stop getting emotional. Mom, I'm never going to be able to leave. I'm, I'm 10 years old, Mom. You got to let me go once in a while. All right, guys. We are finally ready to go. And man, can I just get going now? This for my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you before. Oh, the Pokenav. Okay, cool. That's just an extra function. It's the app thing. It shows you around, and it's kind of nice. You know, I actually really like the fact that we have the the map on the bottom screen. I really, really like that, and I'm glad we got to do that. Okay, guys, so let's continue on our way, and let's see. Maybe I'll even bump into a Pokemon that I want to add to our team. You never know. There. Yeah, that's actually one Pokemon I'd like to add to our team before we get too late. Now, you know, as we go on... Oh, man, that thing is so low level. Okay, as we go on, uh, we're gonna need Pokemon that actually can do HMs. This game is very HM based. So this is gonna be one of the first Pokemon I'm gonna add to our team. It's gonna be our HM slave, pretty much. But I thought I'd go ahead and catch it now before we got ourselves into too much trouble. So with that, guys, we went ahead and caught the Zigzagoon. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a nickname. You know, just a random one. It's just an HM slave. It's just a little little guy that's gonna help us out along the journey. But I like giving them nicknames, you know, nonetheless. And I'm just gonna go hell go ahead. Oh wait. Oh wow. Jeez, the Pokedex got really upgraded. That looks that looks real good. Who would have thought? Alright, let's go ahead and get a nickname to him. I'm just gonna call him something goofy. It's pretty much just what he's named already. I'm just gonna go ahead and call him Zagoo. So with that, Zagoo got added to our team. And Zagoo is pretty much just gonna be our HM slave. And you know what? He'll keep our little boomy company. Why not, right? Along your journey, it's nice to have a couple friends. And uh, that's just kind of what I'm all about. Making friends along the journey. Rodri, over here! See that right there? There's a stale tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding the- Wait, May, you, you realize I already caught a Pokemon, right? Girl, girl, come on, check me out. You know, you know I'm a Pokemon pro around here. You know what I'm doing around these parts. Look, I, can I just, I'm just gonna sneak past it. She read a book. This girl said she read a book to teach her how to catch Pokemon. The last time I read a book to teach me, I'm gonna go, I'll see you later. Peace out, peace out. <laughs> I'm just, I just literally just left May behind. Peace, May. See you later. What's up? All right, guys. Now we're going to continue on our way uh, to Route 102. And this is where we actually begin making our way to all these towns. And the tails sticking out, I guess, mean that there are Pokemon. I think it's... I don't, I'm not even too sure. Maybe it's Pokemon that give you a little more XP or something like that. I'm actually not too sure about that. But I'm not even worried about it. I'm kind of just excited to, you know, begin making our way into the next town. I love making my way through these routes. I love battling these Pokemon. I think it's just really great getting the chance to see everything, you know? I'm, I can't even begin to fathom what, you know, some of the future towns are going to look. Especially once we get, you know, some of the newer HMs like Fly, Surf. Uh, you know, once we get those HMs and we actually begin using them. Just in this game, you know, once we make it to some of the... You know, I don't want to give anything away in case, you know, you guys have never played through the Hoenn region. But some of the towns that we come up later on are very nice. You know, there's a lot of scenery to them. And I can't wait to just see them. I think it's going to be really, really great. You know, I have this picture in my mind. It's kind of like reading a book. Whenever you read a book, you picture things one way. And then when you actually see the movie, you can, you know, you can finally start seeing what, what the things are really like. And that's kind of what's going through my mind right now. You know, it's kind of like... Playing the 2D version, the originals, was kind of like reading a book. And then having the chance to, you know, sit here and look at these, uh, you know, 3D models now. It's kind of like seeing it in a movie version. And I just can't wait to compare, you know, what I had in mind to what's coming. I think, hopefully, I've nailed it. 
hopefully I have enough imagination so that it'll look like what I thought of. But if it didn't, yeah, then uh, I don't know. But I, I'm thinking it's going to. Come on, let, let's get out of here already. I'm trying to make it to the next town. But I am going to try to do a little more battling. Uh, you know, I definitely want to make sure we get ahead. I don't want to get too behind on the training. I kind of want to make sure we stay ahead a little bit. Just so we can, you know, keep on going in our journey. And we don't get into, you know, too much trouble. We don't get into crazy things and we don't just you know get left behind now the good thing about this is that the xp you know we grow it pretty quickly and it's very nice soon enough we'll hopefully get the xp share thing don't know exactly where we're gonna get it here at this place uh but hopefully we'll get it here sooner rather than later oh, there's a lot of like weird pokemon things what the, i don't even know is that a kid in there was that a kid or a pokemon i don't i couldn't even tell there but all right i'm gonna go ahead and obtain these berries then real quick real quick let's harvest these berries all right hang on let me get these that's pretty cool i like seeing these trees like this all right and with that we'll be ready to make our way into our next town so let's head over there then and see what awaits us we have made it to petalburg city all right petalburg city it is we have another battle all right this route's a little bit longer than i remembered was it always this long were there always as many trainers here i'm really not sure i can't even tell you it may be just the fact that we were seeing it from a top-down perspective before to now makes it seem longer. Just for the fact that the areas are a little bit bigger. This is great, though. Boomy's going to be so strong going into the first gym. I think we might be a little overpowered. No, probably not. I think the first gym is around level 11. Oh, man. That, that hurt. All right, I'm going to use a potion. I'm not risking it. There is no way. Because then imagine, we have a level 2, like, our, our Zagoo is, like, level 2. There's no way. That could happen. I might have to train that one off screen. I just thought I'd catch it early because I've had times before where it'll take me a little bit longer to, you know, catch the Pokemon. And I don't really want to be doing that. I don't want to have to be backtracking as much because I know we're already going to have to do quite a bit in this game of backtracking. So let me just head and get... Oh, another crit? Dang, what is up with this Zigzagoon? Oh, I thought we missed there for a second. I was about to say, what is going on with this Zigzagoon? This man is on some steroids. This girl's been EV training her Zigzagoon. Alright guys, we gained a bunch of XP and we're going to continue onwards. And I think that was the last battle before Petalburg City. Yeah, there's May. What's up? Hey! How's it going, Rodri? Have you been using your Dexnav and perfecting your sneaking skills? Well, it reacts to Pokemon in the area, so it's really handy. The, the, the what? What are you talking about? There's going to be something more in this grass? Look, if Professor Birch pops out of this grass, I'm not even, I can't even handle that right now, alright? He's already creepy enough. Whoa, look at that. Little butterflies flowing around, flying around. What are they doing? Where are they going? That is so nice. Wow. That definitely wasn't in the, the originals. Those were butterfly, weren't they? I'll have to check in my decks now later to be sure. But wow, we already made it to Route 102. I guess it's really true that time flies when you're with a friend. Oh, look, there's Petalburg already. Roger, your dad. He's the gym leader in Petalburg City, isn't he? Maybe I should try to take him on myself once I train on my Pokemon a bit more. Guess I'm off then, Roger. Let's meet up again sometime. All right, guys, we're going to do one last thing before we go. I'm actually going to run in this grass until I find a Pokemon that we're going to be adding to our team. So I'll be back once I've found it. Okay, guys, so there we have it. That's the Pokemon I've been looking for. It is a Routes, and there's a 4% chance of finding it in this grass. I know, it's definitely tough to find, so, you know, best of luck to you guys. I hope you find it when you do, and I'm just going to go ahead and spam Pokeballs at it. I don't really want to risk anything. I don't want to try and move. It took quite a bit to find it. It probably took me around five minutes to bump into it, so I highly suggest that you're ready, you know, for this Pokemon. It is one of the toughest ones to catch, but it's definitely going to be a great addition to our team, and I'm kind of excited to have it on. So with that, I'm just going to keep throwing some Pokeballs at it and hope for the best. Come on! Stay in there. You're only level 3. Pretty please. Pretty please. With that, guys, there we go. We have added our second official team member. Zagu is just an HM slave, but with that, Routes will actually be joining us along our journey uh, so it's quite exciting here, guys. Now, I actually did have, you know, two different nicknames planned for Routes due to it being a psychic fairy type. And now that, you know, we found out Routes is actually a male, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nickname after one of my favorite series of anime. You guys might have heard of it. So I'm going to go ahead and nickname this Pokemon. 
You probably have no idea what I'm gonna put. I'm gonna nickname it Elric, as in the Elric Brothers from Full Metal Alchemist. So with that, guys, we've gone ahead and added Elric to our team, and I am very, very excited to continue onwards to Petal Brick City. Next time, we'll continue from this point, so if you guys have any tips or, you know, tell me stuff that you've been through, what's coming up, make sure to give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how it's been going so far. I hope you're enjoying the adventure as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.